seven things you must know before starting competitive programming let's get started number one do not compete with friends compete with the test cases what I mean by compete is see this is what happened in my college there are frequent coding competitions held in our college and every one of us is almost the same level or standard for example if the competition has let's say six problems guys on top of the leaderboard are the one who solved about four on an average and almost all people solved at least two to three problems and this continued for a long time and everyone who participated in the contest was competing you know fiercely wants to come first wants to be the top guy and subconsciously in their mind the target became just solving four questions is enough see here comes the problem this violates the intention of the contest they were conducted to make you familiar with the concepts of competitive programming and help you assess yourself not to you know compete with each other so what are all these guys are doing is they they never even care to look at the last questions which involves concepts like dp or graphs and trees they are limiting their own learning capability you know coding contest is something we need to compete against the problem against the test cases not with your friends once if you start competing with your friends from that moment you stop learning i'm not saying don't compare with your friends do compare and get to know how this all a problem share your approaches ideas logics tricks and techniques but don't keep them as benchmark and be independent to fight and kill as many as you can thinking this way also reduces a lot of stress and anxiety i hope you got what i was trying to say number 2 do not turn this into a number game recently the trend has been such a way that at least in most colleges in my country there will be a daily or weekly leaderboard of the students how many problems they solved what are their ratings or scores in a particular website and sorted them according to this order so to be on top you got to solve as many questions as possible and that too in sites which has more points for a question no matter whether you steal the code from the internet or from your friend or you understood the concept behind the question it doesn't matter just getting a green ac is what all you need to be on the top that's definitely a bad idea learn everything that is meant in that problem no matter how steep your code forces rating graph looks like understand it try it see where you're failing try another method ask him from friends who solved it but never ever copy it the third important thing you must know before starting competitive programming is to upsolve the common thing that is overlooked in competitive programming is upsolving the most important thing to grow in competitive programming is to upsolve and never leave them behind they are the one which teaches you a much unforgettable and a valuable lesson learning something after you failed i feel like sticks in my head for a longer time you know what i mean and the next important thing is to be patient before starting competitive programming you should remember one thing that it's going to take a hell out of time to reach the level everyone dreams for you should remember it it's not a thing that can be mastered overnight you need to practice a lot a lot and lot like crazy most of us lose interest because we definitely are not going to see the results that fast and you know we get demotivated or depressed and we want to quit but that is not what we started for and been there for so long try harder and much harder it only matters to keep on moving forward no matter what the fifth important thing is to never settle once you solve a problem don't leave it try a different approach a problem can be solved in multiple ways all of these methods by the time and space complexities their limitations their advantages write down all of them somewhere and keep on building this habit it helps us a lot down the line and you will have your own coding repository 
The sixth important thing you must know is to have a plan and good resources. You know, sometimes you feel like you have no direction. But it's okay guys, everyone has been through that phase and it's very hard to get back up. But if you don't have a plan and a name what you're doing for and why you're doing for, you'll be good for nothing. And ask for resources from who are master at that topic, probably your mentors or friends. Because not all articles on the internet is good. Don't waste the time and use the time efficiently. The last and seventh most important thing to remember is to know why you are doing it. You're probably watching this video because you're interested in competitive programming or maybe you're preparing for a coding interview and choosing competitive programming for that sake. And these two are a little bit different guys. Find the differences and prepare a plan according to it and follow it. So I think that's all for now. If you think I missed something, comment down below. Or if you disagree with me on some point, comment on your opinions and suggestions. Till then, happy coding.